Hey guys, I'm Tom, Section A Freestyle. And in my last video, they asked me to make a comparison between the PCB supported cameras. Now we got the last one in the series, it's the Gaddex Turtle V2. Let's check it out. Well guys, here it is. Let's open it up. First we got a little card. And my microphone is stuck to it. We don't need this. Next, we got a camera. PCB already connected to the camera. We got the mounting brackets. We got the OSD controller. Inside the box, we got a little bag with extra compartments, power a connecting cable, the OSD connecting cable, and we have a plate. To use uh, the, the mount, the 2020 holes to a 3030 mount. Now, watch out, this is copper, it's conductive, so don't let anything short it out. Inside the bag, we got a lot of screws and one hex key to tighten everything up. Now let's get a close up to the PCB and the camera and check out how that one looks. For first, we got a connector from the camera. It's similar to Foxio camera. Clicks on, so I think it's easy to, to change when, uh, when broken. I do advise to put some sealing on it. Maybe if you crash it could come off. So. I think that's better thing too. Second is you got your microphone. It's loose from the boards. For one side you can put some some cover over it to reduce the noise of the wind. But for me it's gonna be an extra. I think I'm gonna solder it off. It just sealed with some liquid tape. You can peel it off and desolder it or cut it off just beside the board. Next you can choose between the solder points or you go connector. You got the connector is ready with the OSD. To solder it on it's the same way as the as a connector. From left you got OSD video ground and VCC. So you can choose what voltage you want and you can get, see it later on in your OSD. Same as the connector is OSD, video, ground and VCC. To the right you got two more solder points. It's your camera TXRX. For that you got your coax cables to the camera. It's wrapped with some sort of uh, Tape, maybe just to keep the, the, the wires together, maybe a little bit insulation. Next, you get the camera. This one was supported with the turbo lens. The older ones had problems with, with the lenses, they fixed it probably. Next, you got your 20 by 20 screw holes. You can change this with adding a copper plate for the uh, mount. To the other side of the PCB, you got your SD slot. Now I recommend a class 10 SD card 
16 to 64 gigabytes. To the right side, you got your on and off switch. Now, normally you can start recording with one push. In the OS, OSD settings, you can change it to auto record. Once you start it up, it will be recording immediately. Now you got in this PCB, the protection when you crash and you lose your battery, it won't fail the recording. So maybe you can lose a few seconds, but most of the time you can get the most. Now, if I can see it, others uh, were complaining, there were no, was no protection for uh, when the SD must have jumped out. Now with mine, I got a little part that will protect the SD from popping out. Now let's see what, uh, what the settings of OSD, how it works and let's check that out. Well guys, I set everything up. Let's see what the OSD is going to tell us. For entering the OSD, you press the button once, you get in the first menu. First you get the OSD settings. You can change the name by pressing on up. You're going to skip all the letters and numbers. You can turn on voltage, on or off, timer, on or off, the resets, turns everything back on, you can exit and save and exit. Next you got your video, video settings for 20 on one, 120 frames. 180 30 frames and 180 60 frames. I'm gonna put it on 180 60 frames for me. Video loop on or off. Auto recording. I'm gonna put this on on so I don't have to push the button extra. White dynamic range. Save and exit. Camera settings. Exposure. Metering mode, field of view, medium, narrow, and back to high. Screen flip, if you want the wires to come at the top. Simple. Light frequency, 50 hertz, I'm gonna put it on 60. Back to save and exit. Image effects. Saturation, sharpness, contrast, brights. I'm going to leave it stuck and we'll change it when, once, once I'm flying with it. TV systems, NTSC, PAL. And you got the system settings. Auto boot, language, English, English, SD card info. You can format your cards. System info, you can do a factory reset and back to save and exit. TV ratio 16 to 9 and 4 to 3. I'm gonna stay at 16 to 9 because my goggles has the same value. And back to save and exit. It made it just as easy this time. Normally you have to put a different value into your button to go into the OSD settings. This one's a little easier in my opinion, but looks good. Now let's check out the size of the board and camera. This size is 29.6, so I think 29 on. 28 it's normal size camera itself is 19 on 19 and you if you need a big amount you got the included brackets for normal size camera well guys that's all I can say about this camera if you want to, to buy the camera, I'll put the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks guys, see you next time.